Hi, and welcome to Washington Wine. Welcome to Washington Wine Girl. Today is Saturday. Um, it's around 7:30 at night, and I am about to open the Phoenix 2012. It's a red blend with uh, Cab Franc and Malbec from Tildio. Til Tildio. It's I don't know. It's from Lake Chelan. I think it's a Columbia Valley wine. Oh gosh, I can't sing, see any. Uh, Manson, Washington. So yeah, it's near. It's near Lake Chelan. So, um, 2012. We're gonna get more into 2012 information in a little bit, but let's get this. Ugh. Let's get this open and try it. Oh my gosh. Even this. The aroma from just opening it. I mean, I should probably get an aerator, which I'll probably get in a little bit and restart this video in just a little bit, but I'm gonna just give it right out of the bottle. Taste. Oh, that smells fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. I'm liking that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop this video for right now. Uh, I'm going to have a bit more of this, and then I'm going to start the video back up and talk about it when I'm slightly more wined. Okay. And we're back. Um, so I'm about a half bottle in. It's a little bit later, obviously, because half bottle, you know, I don't, I don't chug these things. Usually. Anyway, so let's talk about the Phoenix from Lake Chelan area. Tildio, as far as I know, that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong because I pronounced it wrong. Um, like I said, Lake Chelan area from Manson. I think this was from Manson, Manson, Washington, which is on the far upper side of Lake Chelan. If you looked at Lake Chelan, it's like up here. If you knew where Lake Chelan is. Anyway, moving on. Um, so, <laughs> the Phoenix. So this wine was uh, dedicated to the firefighters who did some firefighting, um, smoke jumpers and all that stuff that uh, they do firefighting stuff when shit catches on fire. I know, I'm so technical, you know, it's, it's just, you know, my, my forte is... Anyway, so they, they, they made this wine and, 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 and stuff for them. So, um, I don't have a lot of tasting notes other than Cellar Tracker. And so this is what I've been told. Um, funky ripe cheese and smoke on the nose, which, yeah, it's kind of has a little bit of a funky aroma, but you know what? The wine is still pretty freaking good. Uh, cherry and plum leather T and it's t a tangy, tangy, tangy taste. I tang, tang just sounds, it's like the, eh, whatever. Um, matches well with umami, uh, subtle tannins and extensive linger. Delightful, lively and spicy. Cab Franc Malbec is a fantastic combination. Yes, yes it is. Eh. Anyway, so this bottle is probably about 35 plus um, these days. So let's talk about 2012 as far as Washington wine and what makes a great Washington wine. Oh God, I'm already running long. I'm sorry. So 2012, God, where did my notes go? I had notes. I had notes. Okay. So 20, 2012 was a special year for Washington. The weather gods were like shined upon Washington and we're like, let there be light and the appropriate amount of heat and temperature changes and all that shit and all of the things that make wine special. It, they've called the 2012 year the Goldilocks year because it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. Or was that the three bears? I don't know. I, I, I'm getting all my fairy tales messed up. Anyway, this 2012 was a great year for Washington. Great year. Um, all of like this site here, wineandmag.com is saying that all of the wines, all of them are virtually 
all of them are great right off the shelf. And I'm drinking it slightly less off the shelf than it was. Anyway, great year. So a whole bunch of things go into making a great year. Um, when the, the, the flowers blossom on the vine, when the, all this, all these things, there's so much goes into making a great year, great wine. And it's really freaking technical that I can't even pronounce some of these things right now. So I'm not even going to try, but it all comes down to how the weather is in when the grapes are growing and doing their sugar and roots and bullshit. Anyway, this is great. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bottle and then I'm going to probably pass out or maybe drink something else because it's still early and it's Saturday and it's a three day weekend. So there you go. Um, it's slightly longer. I apologize. Um, stay up to date with what I'm drinking. Um, subscribe if you want to keep. Uh, I fail. I fail at this so much. Drink Washington wine. They're great and they're really, really great. <laughs> Bye.